for me at least. All right. I mean, and hopefully it's already cropped. Okay, that's yeah, good. That get save file. Oh, gotcha. <laughs> uh, I don't know how to do that, but why it's good. good. Evo yeah. sent me a message. It's good. Oh, for a VLC or something. Yeah, it'll be good. All right. Hey. So are we live then? We're alive right now. <laughs> Look at the Project <laughs> NBA Jam. Project NBA Jam, what a meme. <laughs> what a meme. Featuring Gooby on the couch. Yeah. <laughs> For anyone who doesn't know. Like... Wait, that, it does say any percent. It's 104. It says oh, yeah, any percent is... down. It's 104. The heads up. <laughs> yep. This is what people truly came for. Gooby on the couch. Gooby on the couch. <laughs> Shout Gooby. Oh, I see. Yeah. There's a couch. <laughs> There's a couch. I, I'm your internet couch. No, 4%. Oh, uh, so, yeah. So, there's gonna be... Yeah. It's similar in some ways to any percent, but you kind of have to go out of your way to, like, collect items. So... Like a lot of 100% runs. Live, so yeah, good to go or good. yeah, I'm just asking. So, yeah, so for anyone who doesn't know, it's uh Project Base, it's a uh, ROM hack, basically the uh, Metroid on steroids. <laughs> I thought this was NBA Jam. You lied to me, Linka. <laughs> I lied. Oh, I see <laughs> the game on the um, I see the game on the stream is a little bit too wide, stretched. Scanned. Save the animals. We're gonna do something else. Yeah, you can see like the D-pad thing and the buttons down below on the stream is a little bit over. We're gonna do taught the animals because that's the funniest option. It's the most in the middle. It's like the middle option between save and kill. Alright, so guys. yeah. Yeah. We're, we're, we're ready to go. So we go. Three, two, right. one, go. And there we go. Jam. So you're gonna see. Slam. So yeah, series, um, yeah, so we can respin, that's the first thing you see. That's literally the best thing um, this hack has, literally the best. Oh yeah, because of the vanilla Super Metroid, when you break out a spin, that means you can't wall jump again, so then rooms like the climb are just like a lot harder because of that. We're gonna do it. Just gonna chill here, cause uh, we don't have to get hit anymore. We don't have to get hit anymore. So yeah, just flies away. Also, I really get scared of our sick baller moves. Yeah. So there's well, there is a time of no escape stuff anymore. Um, one who made this hack put back only put only this back. He got to put back like the whole the rest of the sequence. So we will probably see that in the oh. next version. <laughs> <laughs> so it's the silence. Big one. Yeah, the big grime one is the one who made this hack. Thanks for the good luck, Faust. He's bugging out, definitely. We will see him later. Oh, yeah. We're gonna we, we're oh. gonna completely destroy Ridley later on. Forty-seven thirty-three was nice too. Yeah. Good. And also, the true name of Begrimed is called Big Remid, clearly. <laughs> Big Remid. <laughs> is, it, is your name Big Remid? Big, 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 oh, Begrimed. Oh. That was it. <laughs> Pays Donuts. Yeah, you're gonna see some more, like, new features of this hack. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's a lot of different, like, features added to this hack, so... The respin was a big one. Um, another big one is um, backflipping, so that lets us break some blocks, and we can actually skip a mini boss by using it. 
Yeah. You're gonna see that actually in like. Also, Moonfall, of course. In vanilla too. That's what we call right. uh, original Super Metroids. Yeah. Yeah, moonfalling is cool. When I'll say. You... Yeah, go on. Oh yeah, when you moonwalk and you jump off a ledge, you for some reason you just fall really fast. It just saves like a second here and there. It's pretty nice, and it's just really cool looking. Yeah, we just got more ball. More ball. Uh, we can jump out of more ball. So yeah, that's a cool thing. Also, when we jump and hit the ground, uh, we don't lose our speed. That's really handy too. Right. So there's a bunch of new rooms added, new shortcuts and such. This game is just basically really fast paced, in comparison with the original. One of the interesting things about this ROM hack though is that it's the map is mostly the same as vanilla Super yep. Metroid. So there are some changes, but like 90, like 5% of it is the same as vanilla Super Metroid, I'd say. Yeah. Well, in the next version, that will be... First, well, Criteria will be twice the size in the next version, and Torrent will be placed somewhere else. That's right, the thing. then things are gonna be crazy. Yep. <laughs> in in 0.8. Doing itches, dudes. Getting itches <laughs> during a run. So here's so where respin is really useful. Instead of the slow climb, we just go fast. Doing oh. speed. Controller. Nope. <laughs> oh. There we oh, go. We made it. Controller. Yeah. My D my D pad is not as good as it was before because of all of the short charges we do in this game. You're gonna see that later on. You're gonna see how fast we short charge and yeah, it's it were my D-pad really down, so. So here's uh, Bomb Trezo. You know I'm gonna see him move anyway. <laughs> Bye Bomb Trezo. That was Bomb Trezo. Shout out to Bye Bomb Trezo. He's the hardest boss in the game. Oh my god, backflip. <laughs> Go. Yeah, by buffering backflip, you can just skip Bomb Trezo like that. Yep, it's easy. It's it used to be really tough to do that. It was like, what, a four frame window to get that? Yeah, like a three frame window. Like that. It's yeah, really tight. Buffer. Yeah. <laughs> the buffer made yeah. it really good. Also, you saw that I did an insta bomb. That's also a thing. You'll just hold down and press the shoot button and you do an insta bomb. It's only, it only works on the ground, though. But it's really yeah, that useful. Was, that was just added at 0 0.73, which yep. is the latest version of the hack. Also, if anyone has any questions, feel free to ask. Uh, I won't be really able to answer them, but Gooby could probably do that. Yeah, I'll bring up Twitch chat right now. All right. Oh. Uh. Uh, Retrothon. Uh, I bought. Retro Gaming Live TV, there it is. Okay, I need to make sure I don't forget that missile down the crumble bridge. That's one, e that one can be easily forgotten. Right, not doing 103%. So there's a meme in the uh, project base community with 103%. So there's this one runner called Steelin' Bread and he ran like 104, like a lot for a long time. And then he would always miss one item. So the meme became like, he's the 103% world record holder. <laughs> There's oh, also my, another meme. With my cursor's here. on the the this fucking on the timer, <laughs> dude. <laughs> oh, I can see, see it. it. Just chilling there. Oh, uh, base base the cursor Eternally on the. Eternally screaming. <laughs> Eternally screams. So here's where we can use the backflip. We go through crumble blocks. Crumble blocks. Whoa, crumble blocks. Okay, crumble blocks. Whoa, bro. <laughs> Ingers is hard. <laughs> So oh, yeah, we just went through crumble blocks. Yeah, we're just gonna again. I'm still bringing up Twitch chat, finding where Strem is. Strem is retro game live TV. Right. Oh. Hmm. First, the lives matters. Ah, uh, damn. <laughs> ah, one. Oh, okay. 
Also, it's really hot here, so my fingers are slipping off the buttons. Uh. It's super hot from your hot, like, dance moves, clearly. Dance moves. Your hot dance moves and your hot jams. <laughs> <laughs> so, I got all... I, so far, I got all the items, so that's good. Ah, it used, I used the super. <laughs> okay, I didn't uh, unmorph there. Good. If I unmorph, when you do Moonfall, you just get propelled upwards again. Like the same height you dropped. So. Here we go. Now I got this up. Alright. I'm laying a power room there, because there's a power room door up there. When we open it from this side, the other side is also open. But if we don't do that, the other side is still closed. Like if one of the sides is open, the other side is automatically not a not a like power bomb door or a super door anymore. Uh, Cranium. The reason it is called 104 percent instead of 100 percent is that some of the I believe save points were turned into like missile upgrades. Yep. yep. There's like four extra missile packs. Falling in the water. Just project based things. Yep. So yeah, this game is really fast paced, uh, so yeah. And that's why this game is not easy for looking at Chad. <laughs> yeah, streaming this game is funny because it's like, I see, you'll see people chatting, it's like, I see your message, but there's a million things going on, so... Yo, we got Can't CPR, dude. We got <laughs> nice CPR. Game. So CPR is like, there's two mouths there, uh, we just jumped mouth to mouth basically, that's why you call it CPR. Nice, got it. it. Just came on my screen now. Very nice. That can I actually easy, shoot the boss? <laughs> quite tough, actually, to get that. Yep. It only saves like a second. So let's not yeah. walk into mini crates because that's also a meme. That's a meme, yeah. That's a steel and bread. Oh. There's a lot of steel and bread memes. <laughs> Go give them a follow. <laughs> Base steel and bread. So he's crate. Uh, we cannot do the crate quick though. We just we can kill him quick, but not like vanilla. Hope I don't mess it up. <laughs> yeah, the way you kill Crate is a little bit different in this version. I believe you can quick kill him, but you can also opt to just shoot a few supers, wait for him to go on top, and then just like jump up and shoot more supers at him. It's yeah. a more consistent way of like killing him. Also, nice thing when you hold your charge beam, items come towards you. Oh, right. It's like similar to uh, Metroid Prime. Yep. Pretty useful. Oh yeah. I don't mind stealing bread. <laughs> <laughs> stealing bread. Uh. Got some thieves in chat shaking my SMH. <laughs> okay, let's not forget this missile. That's also a missile that can easily be forgotten. No one of ah. percent today. Come on, store charging. Okay, there we go. <laughs> We're charging difficult. Yeah, we can keep speed and such. We can do this, we can keep our speed and spark. And we can move up and down or left to right, depends if you vertical or horizontal spark. Right, that was something added in this version of Project Base. Normally in like vanilla Super Metroid, when you spark, you're committed to going one direction, but then in this version, you can like wiggle it, and that can let you like adjust the spark on the fly if you like uh, didn't position quite right for a trick or something. Yep. <laughs> Is this guy the Flash, or am I seeing this? <laughs> <laughs> uh oh. Ah, oh, yeah. So here's a difficult trick. Let's see if we can get it. Oh, I almost got it. You can just jump on that block and then jump, keep jumping, keep your speed. Kind of difficult to do though. I yeah. wow. That was... It's a tough movement trick. This okay. category is all about very tough movement tricks. Yep. This is like literally a lot of movements. So this is Swagtroid then. Yes, Cal. This is Swagtroid. <laughs> <laughs> ah, we almost we bonked the door, unfortunately. You cannot buy, you can also, you can make sure you don't bonk the door and get through that and keep your speed downwards. But then it wouldn't be bonkers that shaking my SMH. Shaking my SMH. 
So I'm morphing and morphing quickly. Uh, you move down faster. Only in certain parts. That's what we did before Moonfall was a thing. Oh, so, yeah. Yep. It's like a mini Moonfall in a way. For Charles. Um, I think I got all the items, yep. Yep. We're just kind of making our way collecting items. As you would expect in a 100% speedrun. They really missed an opportunity in not naming this hack RuPaul's Drag Race. <laughs> Drag Race. <laughs> <Whoa>. <laughs> That would be a meme. Ugh, get the pad, please. <laughs> also, my jump button, I was... I was still holding it, so... Oh, uh, yeah, now we just go to Fantoon and grab everything there. Also, I'm gonna spark into the suit, you're gonna see what that does. Pretty funny. Oh, yeah. How did I, I manage you guys will like this. <laughs> it's also, a fun little, like, work. Also, don't forget, X-Ray, of course, almost forgot it, right. like, oh, I need to get X-Ray, we get X-Ray, because uh, in this version you can get Plasma Beam without killing Dragon, and we're gonna exploit the, uh, the buffer with X-Ray for Dragon. Yes, and I believe a new route in any percent does that too, where you get the X-Ray and then kill Dragon quick with it. Yep. Oh, let's get the... This is a really difficult short charge. Did we get it? Nope. We didn't... Pr I didn't press down. I thought I pressed down earlier, but... I went for the... Uh, precision. Oh, gotcha. Like, that's one of the difficult short charges. It's pretty difficult. Oh, yeah. I'm seeing it on my end. Yeah, that one's pretty tough, because the transition just, like... It's hard to time with it, because you have to wait a little bit, and... Yeah, it just throws you off. It's time to shine spark for your life, says Bayleaf. <laughs> shine sparking. Shine it's basically shine sparking to victory. <laughs> That's right, what we're I doing. Something something important about the shine sparks in this hack is that you don't take damage for doing them. Yep. In uh vanilla Super Metroid you would take damage whenever you shine spark, but this uh hack you don't take damage, so you just kinda shine spark everywhere. I think one of our runners of this game, he made a motto. It's like we shine shark be like shine spark because we can. <laughs> like aperture science, you know. I'm loving those shine wiggles. Yeah, they're pretty useful, Lennon. We grab that missile. Sometimes I just hold up just a little bit too long and then just completely <laughs> spark over it. So let's get Reco, that's a thing. Let's hope I get it. Yep, I didn't got it. So we can go through the middle, and uh, we call it Recos. We can keep Echoes, we can Spark here. Right. <laughs> like it's a bunch Recos of Sparks. because it's a pun. <laughs> yep. Because this is the Rec ship, and you keep your Echoes, so Recos. Basically. Now we're there we just go. making our way downtown, playing yep. Metroid. Uh, we can grab these items because the, the door's already open. Yeah, with so all these items, it makes the bosses pretty consistent too. Which makes it pretty nice so that you don't have to worry about some tough bosses like Ridley and Eddie Percent is definitely one that can be tough. So yeah, Fantoon, uh, in the previous version, Fantoon had uh, like 6,000 6, health. Now he has like between 2,000 and 3,000 health, I think. So, rejoice. Rejoice. <laughs> That's really good. Wow, okay. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, let's hope uh, we can kill in one round. We will see. Oh, we got Eye Opener, dude. Nice. I got Flame Lane by one <laughs> Flame, dude. <No. laughs> the Flame. 
So as you guys probably know from seeing like Super Metroid speedruns, uh, Fantoon has like some different patterns. We got the fast <laughs> pattern. There's also like a medium and slow pattern. Also, nice D-pad, thanks. I definitely pressed up. <laughs> yeah, he has a jank D-pad still. Oh god. There we go, we open the door. I barely just bonked that, okay. Yeah, bonking is good. It's not a good game. Uh, this is 1-0 -oh bonk percent. Let's see if I can get this trick. This is also one of the hard tricks. Oh yeah, this trick. Yeah, we didn't get it. So you can spark. Uh, you saw I ran again. Uh, there's like a slope on the head. You can press down, uh, but you don't have a lot of time. If you press down, you can spark back so you don't have to go through the water again. Oh, it saves, uh, saves some time. Very yeah. satisfying getting it. It was not a shorter charge. This ah. one is all like oh. subtle movement, like tricks like that. Subtle movement tricks with a bad D pad. <laughs> makes it hard. <laughs> yep, that makes it very difficult. There we go. Uh, no. Oh, I don't want to use our one there. So we're gonna actually gonna go bowling soon. Surprise, this is actually a bowling game the whole time. Yep. You were lied to, you thought this was Super Metroid, but instead <laughs> we're gonna go bowling. You'll see why, why we say it's bowling. No, oh, Shine, Shine Spark was not in the prime games. Look, he's going for a strike. <laughs> he's got <laughs> the position and everything. He's going down the lane. Strasburg is in the Prime games. No, I don't believe it wasn't nope. in Prime. Only yeah. in Otter Dam. Everyone knows Otter Dam is a good game. Best game, right? Otter Dam is the factually <laughs> best Metroid game. All other opinions are invalid. Yep. Ah, no quick drops. Dang. This quick drop is really difficult. So, uh, we're gonna spark into the suit. This is what happens. Off we go. <laughs> I'm just now thinking yeah. I got all the items so far. So that yeah, and that, uh, suit. That, like, suit like glitch, it also happens in vanilla Super Metroid, too. You just don't, like, see it in runs in that, I believe. Yeah. Like, you don't have Spark right there, if I never see it. Chat says, this game should have Running in the 90s as a soundtrack. <laughs> <laughs> running in the 90s, dude. So, let's hope. So, we're gonna go to Meridia. I hope I still run it. I've done the run. But, so. I hope I still run it. Even though, uh, if I run this game a lot, it's still hard to remember some stuff. Hole. Getting in that hole right. is difficult. It doesn't look difficult, but it is. Yep. Like the one tile holes are really difficult to get in. <laughs> yeah, I've seen a lot of people bonk on one tile holes. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, Linka definitely has a lot of experience running this in marathons and just running overall. Yep. Submits this to pretty much every online marathon you can find. <laughs> basically. Been, yeah, basically that, and he's been running this for like three and a half years now. Yep. This and along with other like Super Metroid games, like hacks and whatnot. Yeah, you see this door is now open. Nice bonk. I just... 1 0 bonk percent. 1 0 bonk. <laughs> also, we don't have to kill the enemies in this room anymore. Right, in vanilla you did have to kill them, but this was recently just changed in uh, 0 0.73. I wonder who it was. <laughs> wasn't oh, uh, Hubert. It wasn't Hubert. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Hubert is a runner of this game, and the meme is that he got a lot of things changed from 0 0.72 to 0 0.73. Nice, I got that quick drop, dude. <laughs> 
Nice. Stop dude. the quick drop. Also, projectiles of enemies also give drops. Also a thing. Right. There's like so many things that have been changed. Nice. Yeah, def uh, definitely makes the game really fresh. Also, that was a uh, trait called Backdoor Dragon uh, in the like uh, other like other routes. Like Birdie has been rerouted, so. First, we had to do like a back door, Dragon. So you, you went through the back door, entered from this door. Technically, you're not supposed to. So that was before, but now I'm gonna kill Dragon with X ray. On a different yep. reroute. Every game should use a bond count. Yeah, I know, right? I'm gonna ask Grime to, <laughs> to add a bond counter in this game. See if we can kill her in one go. This is basically what we do we kill her like this. And she's dead. There we go. Nice. Good job. Yeah, but like starting and stopping the X-ray, you can get like trick the game to like hurting Dragon more than you actually are. It's kind of like that one Elec Man spark glitch in Mega Man 1, if you know that. Where like you start and like exit start. And then that like you can like hurt the enemies more than like you actually are. Yep. Oh, uh, yeah. Sorcery. Also, it is sorcery cranium. Also, space jump is not as bad uh, is not bad anymore. You can just jump whenever you want. Either wa mm -hmm. water or without water. That's a good thing. Oh, uh, snail, please get out of my way. <laughs> snail. The s snails in, in this room are pretty trolly. They like to get in your way sometimes. So we killed the same way, uh, Batoon, and... Oh, he's dead. Nice. Yeah, same kind of trick they use, just kind of the same... The same exact idea. Ah, oh, come on. <laughs> I'm glad I still <laughs> remember the route of this part. <laughs> There's a lot of things to remember in this run. Yep. Especially the items. Runs in general. All right, yeah. Especially the items. Because all the items are like hidden around, so you definitely have to know it really well. The whole like map. Also, we're coming up to the best item in this game, Spring Ball. It's literally way better than vanilla. Oh yeah. Let's get this item first. Don't forget this missile, of course. <laughs> so much missiles you can just forget by keep going the way you go. Don't want to be a meme like stealing bread. Or do you want to be a meme? Am I already a meme, right? Aren't we? It's all? Sparks Week, so that's uh, Shakto. We just <laughs> killed Shakto. We don't care about Shakto at all. So we don't have to wait for Shack Tools, so that's a good thing. <laughs> we don't have to wait for the boring Shack Tool to destroy all the blocks. But I loved waiting for Shack Tool. <laughs> we love we even like that. So you can speed you can uh, basically just run in more balls. So you can just you can even get like the echoes. Yep. Nice, I still got that. <laughs> Oh. There is there is even a miscellaneous category about those shacks called us like shack the slack like, or like slap the shack I believe or you just shack get to the, that room as yeah, fast as possible. Yeah, smack the shack. Yeah. It's just basically a meme. Just like, how fast can you get to shack? Two? You can basically just go from beginning already because you can yeah you can on the wall on the water wall jump and bomb jump. Yeah. Right. Can I actually wall jump? So I have a lot of supers now. We're gonna use those on Ridley when we get there. 
one oh, yeah. oh, one block tiles are so annoying. One block tile there. They're super trolly. Ah, I. What is project based? Uh, Turtle project based is a ROM hack of Super Metroid that like changes a lot of the mechanics. So it makes you can like do some backflips. You can do like go back into spin. There's a lot of like interesting things that were added into it. That, but as it also I'm, a similar map to uh, Vanilla Super Metroid. As I'm easy percent. Well, this game is nowhere near easy, especially running this game. There's like a lot of movement tech. Not, it's yeah, not agree. like some people so. say this game is easy, but it's totally not at all. It's definitely difficult. Yeah, there's definitely a lot to the game. Especially, let's say, this category. Even though you get a lot of items for it, the movement to go, like, and get a top time would be really tough. Yep, so we just go for the glass tube. We don't destroy the glass tube at all. There we go. There you see the speedball. It's going fast. Going fast, dude. So, the trick coming up. Well, it's like a jump uh, across. Uh, so, when you spark into the slope and only hold... D-pad, you go, you go to spark speed. What if you hold uh, run? Whoa, okay, that was, I didn't bong there. Okay, but yeah, you can just go all the way uh, under there with spark speed, like this. We call it slope speed. Yep. So we going, we going through the back way to Ridley, cause that's possible. It's gonna be changed in the next version. Need a power bomb to even go this way. And speed oh, booster. Really? And speed booster. Oh, gonna be, really? There's gonna be speed booster wall blocking and the uh, there's a power door. Secrets revealed by Linka Meister. Yeah, that's what he told me. Uh, well, I said I told him to make a speed booster wall and put back crumble blocks. Nice. So uh, here, back way. Uh, another missile that's easily forgotten. So that's go there's an I uh, there's like a missile coming up uh where we have to go out of our way. So far we just had a straight way we go. And there's a missile where we have to go all the way out of the way to get it. More like freedom percent. Yeah. More like freedom in this game, definitely. Gives yeah, you more gives freedom. You yeah, it gives you a lot more movement options. There's no gates anymore in this uh, attack, so... I guess that's another thing to talk about, too, is that the transitions are a lot faster. Yep. Basically, like, the um, elevators and such are faster. Like, everything is just basically faster. Yeah, everything is pretty fast. That's why it makes it so fast-paced. It's just literally that. Everything. So this is uh now we're going to that one missile that's out of the way nice yeah you don't go into this room at all in um any percent nope also any percent of this we have there are two different routes for any percent all the new routes no it's not basically it's not a new route like vanilla but it's dumb dumb new route oh this is heart rooms i like to call it because it looks like a heart <laughs> Yeah. There's also well there is third route, hybrid route, which I run. Which is like the middle of new and old route. And the new route is like let's see. I don't know. I don't run new route so I don't know as much about it. You could explain more new route, but I know for old route is kind of the traditional like Super Metroid order. Start with Crate, go to Fantoon, and then drag on then Ridley. There are, some, there are quite uh, a lot of runners for this game. Oh, yeah. I, I believe the leaderboard for any person. 0 0.72 <laughs> at the like Nice, no, we're just going to do this room over because my D pad didn't press down there. <laughs> oh, it happens. Base D pad, dude. Oh, yeah. Fudge. Well, that's any person so had like 45 runners, I believe, because oh of the Ultimate Decathon. Like, had this as one of their games. Can I actually just get this room good? <laughs> this is such a trainwreck for this room, dude. 
Uh -oh. <laughs> my taunt. Um, spaghetti. Oh my god. Deep ass, um, please. I'm pressing, definitely pressing down. Uh, so he is a Ridley Spark. And the missile explodes inside the door, and that can happen. That's <laughs> <laughs> be stupid. Sometimes like, the game control you like that. I don't know why that happens. It just kind of. Yeah, the, the door sometimes just says no. So he is Drago, uh, the Ridley, I, Ridley, Ridley, I don't even know the boss anymore, dude. So we just, uh, <laughs> we just use supers. It takes 30 supers to kill Ridley and he's already dead. He is already right. dead. What? Oh uh, yeah. yeah. You do need to keep some supers. Yep. Or get some more later so that you can progress through later parts of the game in uh, any percent. That's never happened to me. <laughs> you had super like zero supers and couldn't progress. Yep. Uh, he is Golden Trizo. He's not as uh, aggressive anymore since last version. Yep. Picking up screw time. Oh, so we cannot. We cannot kill uh, Golden Trizo like we do in vanilla. Just sit in front of him and he keeps jumping. We cannot do that. It's not possible. Well, Can't use super. Well, he just keeps, he just walks forward. Oh, yeah. They got that item up there. Yes. I'm just forgetting if I got that two and that missile. <laughs> if I thought I did. So, grab this. Alright. There we go. Sure, charge. What? I sparked upwards. Oh my god. Hey, what happened? The D pad, dude. Oh, D pad. Oh, now I see it. Yeah, we opened the door. Hell yeah. Opening doors. There we go. So that was a hard trick before. It was like a pixel perfect spark, but it got changed. There was like, I was slopes on the ceiling, so don't bonk anymore. I believe the angling uh, shine spark also helps with that too. In case you like don't quite position yourself right, you can like change where you're shine sparking, which is pretty nice. Yeah, only diagonal doesn't work with uh, changing. Only diagonal doesn't. Uh, you cannot shift for, for diagonal. Yeah, that would be interesting if you could. I'd like to see what you could do with that. So we're we going to Krakamai. I'm gonna do something. Hopefully, I get it. The fan favorite boss, which I don't understand why, but people love Krokemeyer. <laughs> there we go. So, if I fall in the, in the acid there and then get shifted back, I get stuck. Oh. Uh -oh. Loading. Okay, yeah, so I just... A... Go? Oh yeah, that's just a 104% thing. You don't go here in uh, any percent. Yep. Also, I just shot a diagonal shot. Uh, it's a wraparound, so we... Open the door on the left side of this room. You're gonna see it's open. Hey, Krokemeyer, what's up? And when I'm on, like when I get to the ship, that's when I almost get all the items. I'm gonna ch I'm gonna go in the ship and check if I got all the items so far. Let's hope. I so far I think I got all the items. All right. So there's, we just, there's a ton of items. So yep. <laughs> we need to uh, do Brinstar cleanup and then we go to Criteria cleanup. Nice. I got the echoes and. It, didn't do it. Nice. Feels bad. <laughs> That's happened so so much right now during the run. Bad. Happens, man. Yep.
I hope everyone everyone is enjoying this ROM hack. Uh, if you like yeah. Super Metroid and you want to try some ROM hacks, this is definitely one of the ROM hacks you should try. Oh, for sure. There's definitely there's a good community for it. There's a good uh, beginner tutorials too. Yep. For any percent and 104. Yep. For anyone who wants to run this game, you're interested in. Definitely. And 104 is a very interesting category because even though there's like what 45 runners for any percent 104 yeah. doesn't get as much love yeah, there's like not as many i believe four like runners on the leaderboards currently for 0 0.73 yeah not that much so this door is now open if i didn't lay the power bomb early in the run it would have been a power bomb door still nice not getting hit though Yeah, if you like this ROM hack too, there's also another Metroid ROM hack similar to this called Hyper Metroid that uses the same engine. Yep. There's a very, there's lots of Super Metroid ROM hacks, so there's definitely something for everyone. It's definitely a really popular game, the ROM hack. Yeah, this is one of the popular, most popular ROM hacks of Metroid. I'm really thinking yeah. now, did I get all the miss, all the missiles? <laughs> I already it's opened now. I'm gonna it's support it. <laughs> yeah, I believe this is like the second most ROM hacked game behind Super Mario World. Yeah, uh, I think so. I'm not sure. I really hope I got all the items. If I don't got all the items, so be it. But it would be really unfortunate. Yeah. can hurt to check though. Yeah, I'm gonna check it at the ship and if I miss any, so be it. Yeah, definitely no shame in checking. Yeah. I have a feeling that I'm possibly missing one. Again! Uh. Is the controller being jank? Oh, dang. Yeah, it's possible that I miss one mi missile pack. Possibly. Uh oh. Could be. I'm not sure. I'm not 100% sure. We just need to see. This is the best boss in the game, Spore. Spore spawn. <laughs> Yeah, buy Spore. I, I got all the power bones, all the E-Tanks, all the reserve, I think all the super. Maybe I'm missing one missile. Possibly. I'm not sure. Well, let's hope not. Uh. Uh. I got two more missile packs. I have a 229. What is the number you're looking for? I think I should have more. Like, I'm, yeah, it's possible I missed one eight back. Possibly. We will see if I have 240. No, no, wait, I don't forget any. Nope, I haven't forgot any. Now I'm figuring, yep. I okay, to, good. I really need to think if I got everything. But so far, I think I got everything that was too much here. Meet the short judge here. And jump across this room uh, if I. Ah, uh, damn it. Oh, now we just have to go slowly through this room. Slow way. And the slow way back. I can do, I can try to search it. We got yeah, that. It's just a scenic, just a scenic route. I, this route has been really optimized. So far, there's, there's like no other changes anymore possible. Oh yeah, there's always things being discovered about this game and like new route changes being added. But yeah, it's definitely... Yeah, it's oh, it's very interesting because it's optimized, but at the same time there's like things that could still be like improved on. Yeah, like little, like little sparks or other like little stuff. Like this, there's like a bunch of small changes that can be done. 
Yep, I got all the items, so that's good. <laughs> awesome. You got all the items. Not Monk has avoided. Monk has avoided, <laughs> indeed. <laughs> Yep, there we go, 240, 50, 45, yep. I jumped too, too late. Bonk, yep. No, I just... My D-pad pressed. Like, I wasn't even really pressing it and it already pressed. The wonderful, wonderful D-pad. Yep. Ah, uh, almost, almost got to the end. Still good. Yeah, short charging just wore out Linka's D-pad so much. So it's like a, it's like a Japanese import, like. It's a uh, like a Club Nintendo, a real con like controller for, especially made for the Wii mode. Right. It was only in like the Japan, um, Ding. Club Nintendo, I believe. Yep, Japan only. So yeah, we are uh, Golden Four now. So yep. yeah. So for the animals, I'm gonna taunt the animals. You're gonna. Yeah, I'm gonna explain <laughs> it later. What we do, we what we mean with taunting the animals in this uh, this hack. Yeah, let's keep it a surprise. It's pretty funny. Yeah, let's hope I get it. It can be tough to do, but when you get it, it's pretty funny. Yeah, we call this room Golden Four because this is kind of like once you beat all the bosses in this game, they're like this golden statue. Then you can progress to the final area called Turian. Yep, Torian. Yep. Oh, we got a good Torian. Yeah, Torian is really cool. There's a lot of like, a lot of like tough moving. You've got to use this like interesting claw grip to do it. Like, yeah, really fast, like so. definitely, it's like a double claw grip. I have to like double claw claw grip with both hands. Yeah, it's really interesting to see people do it. Already messed it up. Ah, dang. It's all good. Uh, sometimes you can get it, sometimes uh, not. It's pretty difficult. Yeah, it's pretty hit or miss. That seemed overall solid. Yeah, it's definitely all about keeping as much momentum as possible. Yep. In Turian. Keeping like as much as like space jumps as you can, while like not having to slow down to like shoot a missile. And that's why you like claw grip, so you can get to the missile. Also, grip. hardest baby skip coming up. It's super tough. It's really monk ass. Yep, that was monk ass, really. <laughs> also, uh, the the like the uh, eye doors has been removed too. That's also a thing I didn't tell, because oh, they can right. they can possibly crash the game randomly. Uh, he just took it out just for safety. Really, did not know that. So we, I just went through the zeb second zebatite skip. Nice mock ball into that hole. The best name to call that is also mash your face into a wall for zeb skip. <laughs> yep. Because it's pretty much how you do it. You just kind of try to position yourself right and keep mashing your face until you get through. So I'm gonna backflip into Mother Range to do a lot of damage to myself. Cause I need, uh, need to be at a specific uh, alpha, or else I have to damage myself anyway again. Right. Uh, there's an interesting trick coming up. It's also doing with vanilla, but yeah, it's Taz only. So I don't miss it. I should not be missing. We got it. So this is basically a stand-up glitch. <laughs> if you spark at a specific moment, uh, like the cra like the crash animation ends when you uh, when the rainbow beam stops, so you are able to move then. So it's basically yes. like this, it's basically like the stand-up glitch in the vanilla. We have to like have seven E tanks, uh, and then hit yourself as much as possible fast to be able to do to uh, be able to do this. So. Yeah, it's really nice because otherwise this section is pretty much just an unskippable cutscene. So being able to like move around and damage Mother Brain is really nice for speedrunning. Yep, it saves like 15 seconds. If you get a perfect, yeah. uh, if you get a perfect, uh, you don't have to do any rainbow. 
any hyper beam shots anymore. So in any percent, this is Monka ass. If you don't go to the right on time, you can get the Mother Rain, like the Baby Metroid stuck, and Mother Rain won't be able to hit Baby Metroid anymore. But in 104, we don't have to worry about that at all. Right. Could be turning yeah, colors. Yep, there we go. Because, yeah, in any percent where you position the Baby Metroid, you can kind of like, she just won't hit her, like sometimes, so then you can just kind of get yourself locked like that. I don't want to. Look, Samus is now lay laying on the ground, dude. Next to Mother Rain. If I keep Just rolling chill. to the left, it can it, It's gonna like really weird out the game and like kind of crash the game. So we're not gonna roll any further. Rolling around the speed of sound, man. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> this is the true Sonic speedrun. Yep, and now. Uh, Mother Brain's dead, and we're just making our way through the escape. Yep. Uh, we're gonna taunt the animals. You're gonna see what it means. If I get it, hopefully. Yeah, it's a pretty good meme. Also, there are drop like, you, there's still drops possible. Okay, I don't know why that's changed. Yeah, you don't really need them because you're in the escape, but it's just kind of interesting to see them float toward you. Nice, Steam. Steam is troll. Yeah, the Steam is RNG, where it's yeah, We like... got, we taunt the animals. There we go. Nice, dude. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, if you go in, into the, the animals room and then Shine Spark immediately out, then you can just see the animals and not have to save them. Yep. So it's kind of like right in the middle, save and kill. And there we go. So we now have to wait till the end of the credits. It's gonna take like one and a half minutes. Like I, like I wish there was a way to just skip the credits or just speed up the credits to be able to get to the percentage. But we just have to wait now. That's literally everything we have to do now. We just have to wait, see if it's one of four or not. Like it should well, be interesting one. thing. Interesting thing about the intro, intro is that Begrimes gave you the option to speed it up. Well, uh, only the intro, yeah. So we'll drag yeah. it for this category is a forty-four twenty-five. Yeah, by Stunt Coyote. Yep, by Stunt, Stunt Coyote. Is pretty good still. Yeah. Like this, you can do this category if you like. If you're, you die a lot in any percent. In this category, you won't really be able to die at all. You have so much E tanks. Right. Oh yeah, it shows the it shows the zero point seven point two uh, world record for the any percent. That's basically the zero point seven point two. That's the previous version world record. The record for any right. percent now is a twenty six fifteen, but I uh, want to get better. I believe there's been some talks about combining them, so then you could just like the leaderboard would be one, but it'd show like version zero point seven two or three. Kind of interesting. Yep. So it, this is the uh, well. I have third place. Yeah. Wait. I have second place. I guess. I my PB in 104 is a 4703, and that's I I call it a really bad run. But <laughs> yeah. This is basically third place. Yeah. If if this was a run on the leaderboard now, it's third place. So yeah. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. But yeah, we still have to wait through the credits. Yeah. Like the, that's like the most boring thing of this category, getting uh, through the credits. You don't want to know who the program director was? Come on, man. Shaking my SMH. Yeah, if you want to learn this game, there. If you go on the speedrun.com page, check the forums. There's a Discord. You can that come is a Discord hang out with us. Yep. Well, it's good that you liked it, Glitchless. Yeah, it's essentially like a glitchless speedrun. It's all just like tough movement tricks. Yeah, it's it's, it's li like everything in this game is literally movement, movement, and move. That's everything. Yeah, movement is the biggest thing in this game. Now I know who the coordinators are and who did the printed artwork. <laughs> now we know knowledge. 
Knowledge is power, guys. <laughs> oh, we are almost at the uh, at the item percentage. Yep. And I guess I'd like to give quick thanks to Begrimed for making this hack. Yep. He's been working hard on it. Shout out to Begrimed and the whole project based community. For sure. Good community. Yep. And of course, Tier Force. Everyone. <laughs> Every, that's like like every marathon and such with Deer Force. Of course. Deer Force? Yep. Yeah, I'm happy with this run. Uh, top 49. I'm happy. Yeah, that's good. That's good for marathon. That's good uh, in general. Well, we go 104, <laughs> so there you go, guys. That was project Woo! base. Right. Thanks for having oh, me. For... I will <laughs> I will be back like <laughs> Tuesday and Wednesday with like three other games, so Yeah, Linka runs a lot of games.